Welcome back to Indy Now. It's that time of year when a lot of people are thinking about spring break getaways. So if you go on a vacation without a financial plan, though, you could be really stressed when you come back from that vacation. So our friend Andy Mattingly is here. He wants to make sure that you can just sit by the pool without a care in the world. He's here to help us plan vacations with a lot of fun and a realistic budget. Hi, Andy. How are you? I'm great. It's great to be here on Friday. Yeah, I'm loving this concept because I definitely want to sit with a pina colada and not worry about it. So how can we make sure our vacations don't spiral out of control? Well, you know, probably the biggest thing is, is that when you get to vacation, you put on the, oh, I'm in vacation mode and uh -huh. I just start doing whatever. So one of the big things is to start thinking about well how much you're going to spend each day, yeah. you know? Yeah. And make sure you plan the activities cuz sitting by the pool and having a drink isn't too bad, but if you start doing all these other things and going out for breakfast and lunch and mm -hmm. dinner, that can add up really fast. And then maybe you go visit the malls and things like that. So oh you just yeah. got to have a plan and make sure your activities don't and food don't take up all of your time and budget. Right, and in that planning process, are there any issues we should be aware of? Well, just remember, things have changed a lot, so don't yeah. just assume you're, if you're going back to the same place that everything is going to be the same. You know, the resort fees and the cleaning fees. Maybe now they charge if they clean every day, and maybe you don't need that. So. Mm -hmm instead of asking for that, make sure you look at those things because those hidden charges can add up pretty fast when you check out. Yeah, hidden charges, that's a great tip. And then sometimes there's fraud and scams yes. involved. What should we know about yeah. that? Yeah, and this might come more in when you're planning your summer vacation because we're getting pretty close to spring break. But just remember to check out everything that you're doing. Yeah. You know, look for references and try to never wire funds because that's the way that fraudsters like to do it. Because once you wire the funds, you can't get it back. But you if you use your credit yeah. card, <laughs> Or you use some other method, you can get it back or you can stop it. So you want to be careful of that. And then you also want to make sure that what you're booking is actually what you're going to end up with. That it isn't, mm. you know, do some of your own research, not just on maybe the website or what they've sent to you. So those are some right. of the things you have to really be careful of. Yeah. And what are some of the ways maybe we could even lower expenses, wh whether it is for spring break coming up or whether it is for summer vacation? Yeah, there's a lot of good things. So the first thing to do is, if you can have a flexible schedule, book as late as you can. Mm, yeah. Right? Because they're looking to make deals. You get and those then deals. Maybe go to s the off peak places, you know. So if you're just looking for relaxation, maybe you don't have to go where everyone else is going, you can get deals. Then put your activities together, you know, once you get there. Because you can get a lot of, res you know, resort discounts and everything. So, like, if you like to golf, maybe it's that you go in the afternoon, not in the morning when everyone else is out there. It's expensive. Yeah. If you like to go on a midnight cruise, maybe you do an afternoon cruise, it might be cheaper. So just look at those things, put your budget together, you can still have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It all does add up and it's all about what you do want to splurge on. Okay, so yes. for you, Andy, what is worth a splurge on vacation for you personally? Well, for me personally, yeah. it's a good dinner. A so good dinner. I, I will, yeah. I will not do other things, but to have a good dinner and have a couple of drinks with it, that's always fun on vacation. Yeah, I know that if my dad's watching right now, he's going to laugh at this because when I'm on vacation, it's a celebration. And I, <laughs> and I say that, and he's going to like roll his eyes. What do you say about people that, you know, are just like, come on, it's my time, you know, it's, it's time to go all out? Well, as long as you plan for that to go all out. So, True. you know, yeah, that yeah, it's yeah. the pre planning. If you say, you know what, I'm going to spend $500 a day on doing everything, that's great, but just make sure you've planned for that and not spend seven days you know, spending all that money and yeah. then be like, oh, how am I going to pay for this? So mm -hmm. you can go all out as long as you've planned ahead for it. My dad is just shaking his head saying, Andy is right right now. <laughs> hey, Andy, how can people get a hold of you if they love your expertise in, in planning things a little bit? Well, better? you know, you can always follow us at, at Forum Talk on Twitter. We're also on Instagram and social media. And at ForumCU.com, we have a lot of great information on vacation tips and other financial planning tips. Uh, Andy, thank you so much. We always love your tips. And I always walk away with something and I'm like, I'm going to do that. <laughs> thank well, you, thank Andy. thank you. Great to have you here.